In recent weeks, I spoke with all 31 Senate directors to make sure that I had an understanding of what they viewed as the main unmet needs in the rare disease community and the main obstacles they face trying to deliver more optimal diagnosis and, and care. Uh, we actually identified 11 different working groups that we would like to create. And currently the center directors are speaking with the faculty at each of the sites and individuals have begun to volunteer themselves to work on these uh, teams. Um, we're tremendously uh, pleased at the level of enthusiasm. It looks like we're gonna have more volunteers than, uh, than we initially wanted. Um, and these working groups will tackle these problems. Uh, one is the long diagnostic odyssey, and that working group will focus on ways of accelerating uh, diagnosis. Um, another working group will focus on telemedicine, which has always been uniquely attractive to rare disease patients and physicians, because again, the centers that have real expertise are few and far between, and the patients are also rare but scattered across the whole country. So how do people go and see the physician if, if the best physician to see is a hundred or a thousand miles away? But telemedicine is not made easy by insurance company rules or state medical licensure rules. During the pandemic, special exceptions were made and many rare disease clinics use telemedicine in a way they never had before, but those restrictions are coming back and it's likely gonna take collective advocacy and some actions in the public policy sphere to uh, reinstate or preserve telemedicine. So those are just two examples of 11 different working groups that will target important problems.